everyone, and welcome to a new series we call the LBLA Chat, where we have the opportunity to talk with one of our Latino Board Leadership Academy fellows. These are people who graduated from our academy. Before we get started, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. It helps us expand our reach beyond our media community. Our academy trains Latinos to volunteer their time in leadership roles as board members of local nonprofits. With over 400 senior fellows, we continue to pave the way for Latinx leadership in Silicon Valley. Now, let's get started. Today, I'm delighted to chat with Juan Baca, a graduate of our 2020 Academy. He is a senior fellow. So welcome, Juan, and thank you for joining me today. Thanks for inviting me, Ron. You're welcome. You're welcome. So Juan, let's start by telling us uh, a little bit about yourself. Certainly. I'm a narrative designer at Netflix. I graduated from USC with a degree in interactive entertainment and worked in the games industry for a few years. I saw a lack of representation and co-founded a group called Latinx and Gaming with a few other friends to connect and build a community of game developers, streamers, and fans. And in the past three years, we've grown to over 5,000 members internationally. Wow, 5,000 members in just three years. Man, I got to get you on my board of directors. <laughs> well, that's great to hear, Juan. So what sparked uh, your interest in attending our Latino Board Leadership Academy? So our little volunteer group had finally received funding and support to become an official nonprofit last year. And if we really wanted to increase Latinx representation in the gaming industry, I wanted to learn more about how to effectively run a nonprofit and grow our organization to have a higher impact. Great. Now, thinking back on your experience with the Latino Board Leadership Academy, what are some of the key takeaways that you had during our 10 week program? There was so much amazing information on top of the opportunity to network with other amazing Latinx individuals. Um, it really makes it hard to pick just one or the most important ones. But I would say that definitely knowing the boundaries and expectations of board member roles, um, identifying pillars of the organization, uh, how to fundraise effectively, and showcasing the impact we have on our community have really helped us. That's a great one. Tell me a little bit more about some of your recent accomplishments with your Latinx and gaming nonprofit. So we recently received a Global Gaming Citizen Award from Facebook Gaming at the 2020 Game Awards for making a positive impact on our community. So for Hispanic Heritage Month, we put, a, we put on a three-day online conference full of Latinx content called Unidos Online, and we raised over $7,000 for other charities. We want to continue to grow and hire staff this year. We've grown rapidly over the past three years, and it's really more than just a community for game developers. This is about Latinx streamers, students, journalists, hobbyists, fans. Um, we're creating safe spaces for our Latinx community to grow and thrive in this industry, and being a part of LBLA has been instrumental. Great. That's incredible to hear, Juan. We hope you continue to stay connected with our LBLA alumni network. We all benefit greatly from each other. Absolutely, Ron, and thank you for all the support. You know, Juan is just one of over 400 senior fellows who have graduated from our academy. If you'd like to hear from more of our LBLA senior fellows like Juan, please let us know by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe.